and welcome to part three of my Singapore haul. Now, I'm pretty surprised if you're still here, but I really appreciate it. But one second, I need to sip on my Diet Coke. This is something that I really enjoy. And I know people might have their opinions about so pop sodas and diet sodas and whatnot, but I really enjoy it. And that's practically the only thing that I really eat of that kind of processed, if you wish. Anyways, uh, not that I don't eat cake and what, that kind of stuff. I do eat occasionally, and especially during holidays or stuff like that. I do. I, I love cake. <laughs> Anyways, um, now I'm going to talk about Marc Jacobs. Because I was super excited to find Marc Jacobs. As you know, I live in Finland, and in Finland we don't really have many brand options as you guys in the US or maybe anywhere else in the world. So I was mega excited to find these items, but I was also disappointed that many of the items that uh, many YouTubers were raving about, like for example the Lolita palette or the lipsticks, I found them very very boring and very very basic. So like from the entire lipstick collection, I swatched them probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 times and I couldn't find a single color that was, wow, this is unique or this is something that is special and that I need to have it. So that was a bit disappointing, but anyways, I was also trying to get my hands on the concealer, the pot one, on the shade one, Awake. But unfortunately, they were out of stock from it, from all the Sephora's in Singapore. So that was pretty annoying because that was, well, one of the few things that I was interested in. Anyways, what I got was the Genius Gel in shade 10 Ivory Light. This is very, very pale. And we're talking very, very pale. This is what it looks like. And I'll have, again, the swatch on... The, on my blog post, so you can check the description box down below. It should be there. And this is, I would say, an NW08 or 10. Since it's gel and it's not super coverage, like full coverage, then I think anyone from NW07 to 10 could pull it off. Um, then I got a nail polish in fluorescent beige number one because I love the name fluorescent beige number two because of the color I'm not sure if you can pick it up but it's a muted nude gray with a sort of lavender duochrome or lavender spark no it's a I don't know it's just plain anyways as you can see when I'm moving it anyways this is a gorgeous color I must say, it's absolutely gorgeous. And next I got the face brush, the face number two. And this is what it looks like. It's tapered, it's very dense, and the handle just feels luxurious and beautiful. And it has just the perfect um, to blend and to apply foundation. <coughs> Anyways, that's my Marc Jacobs haul. Um, next, another foundation. The, this was a last minute purchase in the airport. And it's the Guerlain Blonde de Perle. And the shade that I got is 01 Beige Pal. And it's rechargeable and it's a Radiance Booster Protective Shield SPF 20 PA Double Plus Bright and Sculpt Foundation. It comes again in the little protective sleeve that pretty much all high-end brands uh, give. And this is what the foundation looks like. Now, it's pretty interesting. Let me talk first about the sponge that it comes with because it's also quite unique. So, one side is a basic sponge and the other side is a velvet puff. So, 
so that's pretty interesting anyways so there is dark shade there is an intermediate shade and there's a white shade when you mix them all together it gives you about an nc10 color especially if you stick to these two together um but the point of this palette is that you can uh contour with this one uh and you can highlight with this one and then you can just blend with all of those three together or apply first all of those three and then contour and highlight <coughs> so i found that very very interesting and the powder has a glowy finish or uh pearlescent finish so it's not entirely matte it's not a typical powder is a radiance powder so it will look uh more glowy than a normal powder and that's something that i really like because i hate matte powders i just hate it i like when the skin doesn't have oiliness but i don't like when it's so flat and matte because of a powder next uh okay i'm gonna talk about a concealer this is from amazing amazing cosmetics and it's the amazing concealer in ivory i got the large size and basically this stuff is very 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 pale and very 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 covering very covering um this could suit an nc and w zero six zero seven to max 10 and it's very very pale it's paler than the Kevin, Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in 01, if that gives you an idea. Uh, next, eyebrow uh, fixing thingy, I don't know, eyebrow gel. This is from Kate or Kate, I don't know how to pronounce it. I mean, is there an accent or not? But Kate, eyebrow color, and the color is lb1 which is good for redheads it's actually very very good for redheads this is what it looks like and that's what i'm wearing my eyebrows so if you're a redhead and you don't want anything loud but you want to just define your eyebrows and sort of like give them more fullness and still keep your reddish eyebrows then this is a good option it's also pretty inexpensive uh, Next from Etude House, I got the lip, con lip care concealer. So it's a lip balm and a lip concealer. That's what I'm wearing now with a lip liner. Um, I just applied it very lightly and I mixed it with a lipstick, but you can achieve a full concealed lip with this and it doesn't feel anyhow dry. It's basically, it's also a lip primer at the same time. So that's a good thing. And next, also from Etude House, I got this case, which care, uh, encases the play pencils. So I got several play pencils, and those play pencils are much of most most of them are waterproof and resistant to smudging, and they are basically lip, eye, cheek, whatever you want to apply them to pencils. So they're multi-purpose. And those are lip liners, and they are very similar to the Sensei lip liner pencil. They aren't as buttery or as easy to blend as the Sensei one, but for the price, they are pretty much a close dupe. And I'm wearing this one on around my lips. And uh, got some fake eyelashes in the shade wine which means that they have a reddish undertone to it and i love that i got me a small urban decay because i frankly i i don't know how can someone run run out of this um well obviously if you're using it every day you're gonna run out of it pretty quickly but i don't apply eye makeup that frequently so um yeah, I've actually missed using this. I've had the, was it the Sin? No, the other one, the Eden version. No, it was a bright golden color. 
and I just hated that one with a passion because it just it made my creasing worse. So anyway, then I got something pretty interesting, which is a Japanese nail polish, but it's not your typical uh, acetone solvent based nail polish. It's basically a paint that you apply on your nails and you can remove it with alcohol. Basically, it's water soluble. So that was very, very interesting. I will put the details on my blog if you're interested in checking them out. It's very, very opaque at the first coat and very glossy. So, and the color, it, it was pretty unique. I was quite intrigued by it. Next, I got a steam towel, basically just a steam towel that you apply on your face in order to open up the pores. Um, I got a Weedat kit, which has the Moisture Lock Living Conditioner, the Botanical Boost uh, Moisture Spray, and the Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. And yeah, what else? Oh, and I got a small Urban Decay B6 primer. <coughs> and I think that's pretty much it. I did get some other like small things for my hair. For example, an Evida hair mask that really leaves the hair bright red. Well, no, I mean, if you don't have the hair red already to start off with, it won't really make that big of a difference. But if you have a vivid copper red, that, that will work amazing. You can check it out on their uh, website. They have for several different um, hair colors, but all of them work really, really well. My mom had the golden one and she absolutely loved it. It's just a conditioner that has some kind of tint, but I've tried many conditioners of that type and not many of them compare to this one, which gives, I don't know, it gives body, it gives shine it just and it really boosts the color like you can see a difference when you're using it so yeah mm, i could show you the extras that i got those are samples i got oh the mascara that i'm wearing today is <coughs> sorry urban decay perversion which now i regret that i didn't buy it there because i really really like it like a lot. Um, I feel that it gives a really beautiful volume. Then I got a velvet pencil. <coughs> I got this thingy that makes your lips uh, pinkier. Uh, oh, and I wanted to tell you, if you're interested in Covermark foundations, uh, the Moisture Veil LX is really really beautiful now they don't have super pale shades they have the panelist they have is ncnw 15 but the glow that it gives it's just unbelievable and it's a compact powder so yeah and uh, that's pretty much it yeah anyways um as i said i have some clothes and accessories but i won't hold those i can just show you my earrings i bought two of those um, I really, really enjoy it. It's something, I think, pretty unique and different. And, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy this kind of long haul situation. And if you're interested in, like I said, swatches or more in-depth reviews or better pictures so you can see the shades better and whatnot, then check my blog because I'll be having all of that uh, there. And, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.